Welcome everyone to episode 18 of Sky of Diamonds. So last episode we ended off with doing uh, some of this draconic stuff here, the draconic fusion crafting, and we we're just upgrading the uh, the injectors. So let me go ahead and replace these ones with the new ones here. Chat that should be fairly quickly here. All right, gotta. Uh, what are we doing with that? Yeah, let me fix these guys up here. Huh. I do that. Oh, that works. Okay. How do I get this guy? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so this guy, the reason why I was making this guy is because I want to start making Awakened Draconium. Um, now, to do this, we got to make this Awakened Draconium blocks, right? So we need at least four blocks, the Dragon Heart, and how many is this? Seven sorry six of the dracon draconic cores so that should be fairly easy let's go ahead and do that quickly here core so six of these uh how many blocks so i think it was four blocks at least you know what let's see if we can do two of these two sets Wait, was it the wiring core? No, draconic cores. Okay. Uh, and that would be just six of them. And then the heart. Right? I think that's up. And then this here. There we go. Yeah, that's already charging already. So that might take a little bit of time because it was 350,000 I think it was to make this. Oh, 350 million. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to take some time to charge up. So I'll, I'll let that go. Um, one thing I did do between episodes is I upgraded the, the uh, ore miner here to tier 6 which is the last upgrade. Now, I don't think there's any other items that we get out of the tier 6 compared to tier 5. I think it's just probably like faster or whatever. So there's that. Um, I still need to upgrade this guy here, the nanobot beacon. But uh, because I have this other flight, I haven't really cared for it much. Uh, one thing I did have to do was um, make these auto loop bag openers for the patient bags. Because I was running out of nether stars. Uh, now, I don't even think I have that many, and I made a, a little, uh, whoops, what did I pick up there? I made a, a little uh, crafting monitor, or sorry, I guess storage monitor for um, for them as well here. Because if I look at the nether stars, I probably only have like a few now. Did I use, yeah, I have 12. I use most of them to upgrade that, uh, the environmental tech or miner there. Each each one of these blocks here required I think two nether stars. So yeah, that was a lot. And there's like 90 something blocks. That's a lot of them. Um now also last episode I went to the uh we went to the end to kill the dragon. So I do want to go and possibly look for the elytra. I think I need at least two elytras to make the creative flight. Uh does it show me here? So what I'm looking for is, where was it here? I don't think it shows me. Over here, yeah, the creative flight modifier. Yeah, wait, so we need two elytras for that. So we might do that today. We'll see uh, if we have time. Um, and then also we went to the twilight forest and we killed uh, quite a few of the, the mobs there, the bosses. I think we killed like four of them. Uh, let me see here. If it shows, yeah. So we killed the Naga, the Lich, uh, the Stroganoff guy, and the Hydra. So we killed, I think that's about half of them, uh, of the main guys here. I think there's even a quest for it as well. So let's, let's, let's actually claim that. Where would it be? Trophy room? Yeah, right here. Yeah, so there's four main guys left. Let's claim, let's see what we get here. Oh, we have a 
Whoa, we get a, a Naga in a Morb. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. So if we want to just kill him again for any reason, we can do that. Or maybe, can you uh, duplicate the Morbs? I'm not too sure if you can. Or like make a spawn out of them. Maybe not. But we have them, at least and we have one of each of those guys. Uh, what else have you completed here? Okay, so just Magma Creams, I'll grab that. And Enderman. So let's put these things away here. Oh, uh, I missed the one right here. Um, so... I noticed also, because I was thinking, I thought that killing the dragon would unlock the, this quest line. But it looks like before the dragon, we actually had to kill the Gaia um, boss from, I think this is from Botania. So because of that, we might have to work on some Botania today instead. Um, now, I'm not too sure. Like <laughs> This grassy area is kind of a, a bit of a mess here, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just clear up like this corner or something and, and do some Botania here. Yeah, you know what? I think that's what I'll do. Uh, so I'll cut back once I have a good little setup going and we'll see how, how that is. Okay, guys. So I cleared a little area here. Uh, the one farm we had, I just pretty much brought, broke it up. Um, I should probably just kill these sheep as well. Oh. There we go. Alright, um, so to get started with Botania, essentially what we gotta do is start getting Botania flowers. Um, the best way to do that on uh, like a sky island or whatever, um, you can get this floral fertilizer. It's just one bone meal and I think it's, yeah, I think it has to be because these floral powders are from the Botania stuff anyways. So if you don't have that, you gotta get the two uh, red roses and two dandelions. And then once you place it, you get these flowers. Now these are the botania flowers that we need. So you kind of want to get a bunch of them. So I'm just going to spam this little bit here. To start off, what you want are the white ones, these ones here. Um, and that's going to essentially, you're going you're gonna to make the first botania flower. Oh, I can grow these to level two. I didn't know that. Oh, that's fine now. So let's see. So we have some of these guys now. Uh, there's also a pouch. A flower pouch I think we can make. Uh, let me see if I can do that here. Flower... Flower pouch? Here, this one right here. Okay, so we need uh, we need one petal here. So to get the petals, you just grab these guys here. And just craft them into petals. I actually had one brown petal. And that's how I got this petal apothecary here. I'll show you how that's made in one second. Yes, yeah, so that's just made with some cobblestone, cobblestone slabs, and one petal. So that's like the, the next thing you want to make. And then uh, we also need water. Um, I can't remember if there's a way to automate this, to autofill that. Uh, but for now, I guess we'll just do manual. Is there buckets? Like an infinite bucket or something like that. This. What am I missing? Three water buckets. Okay, this is going to be super useful for us. There you go. Infinite water. So yeah, so what you got to do is fill this up with water. Uh, so the first one we want to make is these uh, white ones. So let me open this up, put all the flowers in here. Uh, is that all of them? Yeah, it looks like it is. All right, so we haven't got any of the purple. Oh, no. Is that no, not pink? I forgot what color that is. Magenta? Yeah, magenta. All right, so let's get, you want to get at least four of these guys. Uh, you want to throw them in here? Wait, I think I placed this. Yeah, yeah, you can place them on the ground to grow flowers as well. You want to just throw them. 
in here and then you want to throw a regular seed like that all right so that creates this pure daisy now we actually want a couple of these uh do i have more white flowers okay yeah let's get at least one more of these for now and i uh, need water again ah, i keep doing that there we go so what these pure daisies will do is a oh, wrong one here um i'm gonna put them right here make that room here i'll show you exactly what these do they pretty much convert stone and wood to the botanical versions uh, now it does have to be like smooth stone or cooked stone, whatever you want to call it. This guy here, and then just probably just do some oak logs here. So you just put it around the flower, and then it's eventually they're gonna convert to the botanical versions. There you go. Uh, so yeah, so these converted to living rock. Um, where is did I put away on oh, no, here? So these converted to living rock here. You just vein mine them, and this converted to living wood. Um, so then the next thing we want to make is a, I believe a mana blaster is called. Is this thing right here? We need gold ingot. Oh, we also want to make a mana pool, which is just five living wood like that. I mean, sorry living rock um for now i'll put it put it on this side put it like over here uh now this one of the forest would be the next thing you want to make with the living wood but i got one out of something i'm not too sure but it was in the it was in the uh a crafter thing um or refined storage so yeah so normally what you gotta do is get two living wood put them together to get the twig and they get three twigs along with two of the petals and put them like that you can do any color it doesn't matter uh your choice on the colors and then so then the next thing we want to do is actually create a flower that um i'm gonna i'm gonna fill this up here while we do other stuff here but the next thing we want to do is the one we want to make a flower that actually generates mana uh i'm not too sure what the easiest one is now Let's see here. Man of Steel Chicken. Oh, that's actually good. I don't have that yet. Okay, we got a few things here. Okay, not nothing too bad here. I'll clean the, the levels. Man in a bottle. Some more levels. Alright. Yeah, so the next thing is the Man of Spreader. Um, I guess we'll, let's go ahead and do that. I needed a, a gold ingot for it. Mana spreader. All right, we got that. And then let's look at the. So this is Lexapotania here. Um, you can check here what you gotta do next. Uh, in game. Do I need to do this? Okay. All oh, right, right. Okay, here we go. So. The next thing we want to do is mystical flowers. Uh, no, where is it? Generating flora. This is what we need. So there's the end. Oh, right. The end of flame. I'm pretty sure these are probably going to be the first ones you make. So the end of flames, they require two brown, one red, and one light gray. Um, so we should have those. So ender, enderman around me teleporting. So red, brown, and light gray. We have one of those. Okay, that works. So I'm gonna make two of them for now because that's all I have for the light gray. Uh, now what we gotta do here? Do it like that, and then the seed. Oh my god, every time I right click instead of throwing it. Uh, where'd it go? 
Oh, I just lost it, didn't I? What's going on? Well, I lost one of them, so I can make one flower. Oh no, it's in here. Ah, uh, okay. So like that. So two brown, light gray, and a red, and then the seed. There we go. So we have two of them here. So the end of flames are the most basic ones, I'm assuming. Um, and all you got to do is drop anything that burns. So you can drop wood, you can drop coal, anything like that. Uh, we should have a bunch of coal, so I'll just do that here. Now I could probably take one of these premium coals and that'll be like almost infinite. Not infinite, but that'll be like a lot of mana. Uh, so I'm going to take two of them. So these flowers will eat up the, the, the coal every once in a while. And then what we got to do here as well is, oh, why is that not, is that not working? Does not take these? Oh, uh, maybe it doesn't take, uh, the Supremium coal. Okay. Let me get some regular coal. It should take coal blocks that should burn longer. I'll show you what I'm doing here in a second. Let me just make sure these guys can eat the regular coal. Oh, why is that not working? Okay, let me see. So this is in bind mode. If I bind you to this guy. There you go. Oh, now, okay, they had to be binded first. Okay, so you use this, uh, this one of the fours to bind the, the flowers to whatever mana spreader. And then the mana spreader, you can bind that to the mana pool and it'll shoot the mana in there. So you can see it's starting to fill up now. So that's like the most basic, uh, mana generation there is. Now, you also, if you find these, uh, lotus flowers, they give, if you throw them in here, they give quite a bit of mana. You saw that increase a little bit more. So I'm going I'm to do that there. Um, that would help us speed, speed up the process that we need here. Uh, Alright, so we got the mana spreader going. Okay, so it wants us to make the hydro flowers um, instead of these guys here. So the hydro flowers, let's see what we need for them. Uh, we need, so it has to be, to suck up still water in a 3x3 three three area. Okay, so it gives us like an example of how to set it up a little bit. So we need blue and light and cyan. So two blue, two cyan. Where is my flower pouch? So I'm going to grab, I only have one cyan, so I can only make one of them. There we go. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this guy. I'll put it down here just in case. Uh, All right, guys. So the next thing we want to make here is the runic, the runic altar. Um, that should be pretty. So we need a mana pearl or a mana diamond. Now to get those, all you gotta do is grab a pearl or a diamond. Uh, I have pearls here, so. And I have to just throw it into the mana pool here and it'll convert it. Uh, and then I can just go over here and make that. How was it like this, I think? Yeah, there we go. The runic altar. Uh, for now, I'll just put it over here. And that's going to make us, uh, allow us to make different runes. Uh, you'll see how we use them later on. And what else do we want to do here? We want to make the Agricarnation. What's this? Not sure what that's about. Let's see if we can look into it here. Is that a generating one? Does not look like it. 
the functional one looks like. All right, so this uh, the slow growth of crops is always a problem. To f okay, okay, so this like helps grow stuff faster. Okay, I guess we'll we'll make one for the quest. I don't think we really, really need it other than that. All right, so here we need a few things here. We're gonna need a rune of spring, which we're gonna use the um the runic altar for that. Rest on root. I think this is easy to make. The rest we should have. So let's see. Okay, I think I have everything to make uh, that. Well, I don't even know what it was called now. Um, I guess we. Oh yeah, the uh, agricarnation flower here. So let's uh, first off. Uh, what I'm gonna do is add a mana spreader here. I'm gonna bind that over to the runic altar. Right. That how that works oh there we go yeah there we go and then so what we got to make is a couple of runes here uh wrong book so let's start with the rune of water so we need a mana powder mana steel bone meal shirt cane and a fishing rod now i have the uh, mana steel i need mana powder you just throw redstone into here if i don't miss there we go um i think it was the fishing rod bone meal and a sugar cane there we go so that's gonna start you can see it's actually creating here in the uh that little image that we get so it's gonna take a minute yeah so once it's done so you can see it's full there you have to throw a living rock in there uh is it Just throw it. Oh, there we go. Throw it and then right click with the one of the forest when you have it in function mode. Okay. So we got those. Now we need the rune of fire, I believe it was. And I should have all of that. Oh, I need a rune of spring. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, I, I went the wrong way. Of fire, there we go. So, we need a gunpowder, uh, nether brick, mana steel, mana powder, and nether wart. All right, so it's, there we go, it's ready to go. We just throw that and right click, and we have the rune of fire. Next thing we got to do here is uh, just put the so we gotta make the rune of spring. So that's three sapling of any kind, uh, one wheat, and then one each of the runes that we just made. That should be easy. All right, so there we go. We just throw that in again, and we have the rune of spring. So now the last thing we got to do is Rune of Spring, uh, I think it was with the, so two lime petals, one green, one yellow, and then one redstone root. So I have the redstone root here, I have the Rune of Spring, um, and I should have the petals, I have the one yellow here, one green, and the two lime. Oh wait, that. Is this put done in here or? Yeah, this is done in the apothecary. That's what I thought. This is the, you're actually creating the flower. That was my bad there. Okay, just throw that in there. One of those, two of those. Uh, what am I missing here? And then the rune of spring and the seed. There we go. And we got the ivory carnation here. Again, uh, I'm not really going to use that, but I guess I'll put it put it somewhere here. Although it doesn't even have mana, so that's fine. I'll just leave it there for now. Uh, and let's see what else we got here in terms of the quest. So mana steel, that's easy. You just get iron. You throw it in the mana pool. You should probably lift lift this up one more let me go ahead and do that there we go 
and what else here? So then we need useful brewing. Oh, okay, this is the botanical brewery. You make these big flasks of uh, different potions. And then also alchemy catalyst. Okay, yeah, so you can add this catalyst. You can put it under the mana pool and no see how normally a mana pearl turns into, uh, sorry, a pearl turns into a mana pearl. Um, I think that makes it for the item to turn into something else instead. Uh, not sure if it actually works with a pearl, but uh, let me see here. Yeah, maybe not. I, I think so. It makes certain items turn into something else, pretty much. Um, so, what do we need for that? Oh, so that's that's actually pretty easy here. And then the brewery should be easy to you need one. Oh, that's super easy. Okay, so we grab some more. I get a stack of this. Not sure if I can make the whole thing, but I do have a stack. Yeah, I couldn't even finish the full. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so I think it was one pearl. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we're out of mana for now. I shouldn't have made all of these right away, but that's fine. So this might take a little longer than usual. Let's check out on the Jotonic stuff. That should be done here. There we go. We have four blocks of it. Oh, we used up the heart. Oh, shoot. I did not know we actually used up the heart here. Um, I guess we'll have to get fight another dragon. But this might be enough for at least for me to check what I wanted to check, which is in this thing here, the reforging station. If I take off my helmet, I put it in here. See how it says luck? I can't reforge it. So it's just like random if I if I have a, a quality on it. Oh wow. Okay, so I guess that's just random if you actually get a quality on it or not. So we have the luck quality on this, which is not bad. Um, although like it's not like a big deal that we don't get any other qualities. It just it would have been nice, right? Now we know that's essentially all, all I wanted that for just to check that um, So let's see how the man is doing here. I should probably get Yeah, I should probably get some more coal going should eat it up there we go so let's see how this goes all right that's done there we have the rune of mana and I think uh, so the next thing we gotta do is just create these two what was it the botanical brewery we need a mana steel lock Uh, and we need a living, uh, sorry, a brewing stand. I think we need two brewing stands for this one as well. So let's go do that quickly. Brewing stand, we need three of these. Oh, I made a whole stack. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I shift click by accident, but that's fine. We have the resources. Um, botanical brewery. And the uh, oh, we need two gold. We can do it through here. There we go. And that should be those two complete. So yeah, let me see. Let's see here if it shows what what you can make. Yeah. So for specific items, you need this to be under the mana pool here. Um, so for example, to change different. Uh, the poppy to a different flower, you can do that. Yeah, so if it has this, the alchem uh, alchemy catalyst on this side here, it means it needs that under it. So for now, I'm not going to really use it unless I need to, so I'm just going to leave it out here for now. Um, the brewery, I'm just going to leave it beside here because I'm not sure if I'm going to make anything just yet. Uh, and let's see what else we got. What's next at least? 
scene double conjuring ca catalyst i don't think i've used it before it dupes some items using mana okay and then this is to make terror steel now i think we have some terror steel i think i actually made they make the uh oh no i didn't okay I thought I made the terror steel chicken, but no, 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 I didn't because I needed the mana steel chicken. I haven't, haven't done that yet either. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, so I think uh, that might be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll probably continue with a little bit of Britannia. Um, we'll see if the other guys are back. If they are, we'll also do the Twilight and maybe finish that off. At least the bosses. And uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Um, you know, subscribe if you want as well. That does help me out a lot more. Uh, any comments or anything, uh, I do read them. So leave a comment if you want. All right, guys. Have a great day.